My name is Ruben Gallego. I'm a state representative for District 27. I'm also the assistant minority leader for the Democrats here in the State House of Arizona. Uh, marijuana right now is easier for young men and young women to get than it is alcohol. Um, alcohol is really regulated and thank God um, underage alcohol use has gone down. And I like to see the same thing happen in marijuana, but then when you, that occurs is if you have a, a well-regulated uh, system for selling uh, marijuana in a recreational manner, so that way the only place, the only market people have available to get marijuana is from a licensed dealer. You know, also just a realization that our uh, drug wars uh, that we've been fighting for so long have not been fought in a very smart way. And uh, at least when it comes to marijuana, we clearly are, are losing that drug war. We have to start thinking about this in a different way. Well, I think in terms of at least our cartels, uh, you know, especially being in Arizona, we have a big problem with Mexican drug cartels being cross-border operators. Um, anything we can do to take away a certain level of profit margin for them is, is a win uh, in terms of the, you know, the, the war on drugs or so-called war on drugs. Um, so if we can actually take that away from them, uh, put this into a regulatory system where the people, we know the people that are growing and we know the people that are buying um, and it's not anybody that's connected to any kind of criminal element, I think we're going to be able to, to really put a big impact on their bottom line and they'll have to, uh, you know, shift resources uh, and make it more expensive for them to operate. And I think at the end of the day, anything that diminishes the power and the profitability of the drug cartel is a good thing. Uh, one of the uh, steps that we may uh, do to ease the sale in terms of uh, where you can buy and sell recreational marijuana is that we may actually just allow them to be co-located in, in areas where there's already been dispensaries uh, zoned. Well, the bill is important for Arizona on several fronts. One, we know that there's a couple, one of our neighbors is already uh, legalizing and regulating marijuana. And uh, studies and polls have shown that this will eventually be coming to Arizona. As a policymaker, we should be ahead of the curve and start trying to figure out what kind of system we want that works for Arizona. Uh, two, it's a great way to save money. Um, we have a lot of uh, police and police funds that are dedicated to going after a marijuana when we should really be focusing on what's important. Uh, very dangerous drugs, as well as the wholesale distribution of, of, of marijuana, and you know, especially by cartels. Um, if we can help, we can help reduce uh, the attention to that. It'll give the police officers more opportunity and more funds to focus on what, what really matters. And three, we have to remember that this is going to be a fully regulated system from growth to sell. Um, and the, the best way to basically to stop a black market is to create a safe legal market that we can in inspect and assure that it is uh, you know, doing the right things and not harming people.